Got to check this out. A team of 15 students from Palo Alto High School put this thing together and it works. It's a solar powered car. Getting ready to put it to the test. The team is headed to Texas. where They'll compete against students across the country as the car's journey from Fort Worth to Palmdale, California. NBC Bay Area's Emma Goss spoke to members of the team about all the work that led up to this competition. It was a race against the clock to get a solar powered car ready in time for competition. Now the team is just days away from hitting the open road. Oh, look at this baby flying. It's called the Beast. It's a solar powered car built by 15 determined students from Palo Alto High. It'll be competing in the National Solar Car Challenge next Sunday. It's around seven days, 1400 miles and it's a three hour shift per driver. Raghav Ranga will be behind the wheel for part of that journey. He helps build the brakes. I'll go max speed and the motor can turn the wheels around 77 miles per hour. The team formed last fall when 15 year old Manasvi and her mom Rupa found out about the competition online. And realized that, uh, you know, there's no team here in the Bay Area and we should start one. We just made a Google form and then we posted it on like every single parent channel we could find and a bunch of parents made their kids join. Most teams in competition have at least 20 people, if not more. And this team managed to build the beast in record time, just four months. Honestly, I thought we wouldn't be able to get there just because of how late we started. The team found a workshop in Sunnyvale and learned welding, woodworking, and about sustainability and renewable energy. They now have a 501c3 and are currently fundraising for extra parts they need for competition. Once we get back, maybe take like a week break and then straight on to building the next car. Applications are already open to expand the team with hopes of recruiting an equal number of boys and girls. We would like more and more students, especially underrepresented communities, to be able to get exposure to something like this. In Sunnyvale, Emma Goss, NBC, Bay Area News.